channel something like this. Come on. <laughs> It's going. It is. It is going. Yeah. All right. Uh, good afternoon. I'm Mr. Butcher. I'm Mr. Newport. And this is the afternoon announcements. It's Friday, so we got a lot to get to. So we're going to go ahead and get started on Monday for breakfast. Cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon rolls. Yep. Lunch chili with scoops. Cheesy seems broccoli. Like, seems like we just had chili with scoops. I'm good with that. It's going to be cold and wet on Monday. Yeah. Chili and, with and all you people good. that are praying for snow, it ain't gonna happen. Don't, yeah, and don't well, because then we have to make it up. Yeah, even if it does happen, you don't know. Yeah. We'll have to make it up like in April. Yeah, it, yeah. And, and then you go nine weeks with no break. Right. If you're praying for a blizzard, just go to Dairy Queen. Yeah. And get you one. <laughs> like three ah! ninety nine. That's not fair. That's a shameless plug for Winder Dairy Queen. Winder Dairy Queen, where you can get cat head biscuits. And a blizzard. And a blizzard. And that would be Kennedy Elementary School's proud <laughs> supporter of Dairy Queen in Winder. Hashtag. Hashtag. Partners in excellence. Okay. Chili with scoops, cheesy broccoli, celery sticks, and fruit cocktail. Yes. All right. So here we are. People that got all... You shouldn't say got. They kept, kept all four stars today. In kindergarten, Miss Barrera, Miss Holsey, Miss Johnson, Miss Cooper... Miss Caldwell and Miss Baletska. Wow. Yes, quite a few. First grade, Miss Belknap, Miss Holman, Miss Simpson, and Miss Stevens. And Miss Stevens. Second grade, Miss Bassett, Miss Kinney, Miss Coyle, and Miss Chandler. Third grade, Miss Trillo, Miss Steed, Miss Escover, Miss Skelly, Miss Kylie, and Miss Piner. Or you could just say all of them. I could have just said the entire third grade. Yes. Way to go, third grade. Fourth grade, Miss Ham, Miss. McCraw and Mr. McCoy. Is that? Mm hmm. That, that is. Mm -hmm. I could just say all of the fifth grade. Right. Or I could spend time saying Ms. Hicks and Miss Allen, Miss Hester, Miss Chubb, and Miss Sorrels. That's wow. the second time this week. That's awesome. Done it. You know what that means? Expectations. Yes. Just go up. Yep. And then also, Miss Graham had, or kept, I keep saying had, kept That's all awesome. four of the stars. So that brings us to the week. All right, so we have eight classes that we're going to put in a hat. Miss Cooper's class has gotten a perfect score. Woohoo! Miss Sorrel's class has a perfect score. Yay! Miss Piner's class has a perfect score. And. Miss Simpson's class has a perfect score. Do you need to put them in there? Yeah. Yeah. Call out the ones on your list. Miss, but you didn't call out Miss Simpson. Oh, Miss Simpson. Sorry. Fell in there. Miss Belexa has a perfect score. Miss Johnson has a perfect score. Mr. McCoy has a perfect score. We just throw his out. Let's just throw it out. <laughs> and Miss Chandler has right. a perfect score. So this is who's going to have a silly string par uh, battle with us on Monday. Go ahead and pick no one. No Florida Gators. No Florida Gators. No Florida Gators. Don't look. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. You read it. You pick two. I pick two. <laughs> Put them back I in pick two. I don't know. <laughs> pick one. There you go. You got one. I got one. Read it. I'm not looking. Miss Cooper. Miss Cooper. Way to go, Miss Cooper. Jabari, I'm going <laughs> all after you with silly string. Your whole face. <laughs> silly string battle on Monday. On Monday. And we will be here. Don't be praying for blizzards. No. Unless you're going to go to the Dairy Queen. And then Why you your Dairy Queen? Me, Proud sponsor. I can't eat a blizzard, but that's okay. You can get one for me and I'll get it, Mr. Butcher. Yeah, I'm not too good with the dairy anymore either. Yeah. Yeah. This thing's getting old. Yeah, it does. Or you can just bring me some lactate too and then I'd have it be perfect. You can bring me some fries. Ooh, those are good. Yeah. Or one of those cat head biscuits. It's really the biggest oh, a cat's head. Cat head biscuits. Mm, sounds pretty with good. The ham. Strawberry jelly. <laughs> We kind of we, we went way off topic here. <laughs> All right, perfect attendance. Pre-K, nobody. 
No one in kindergarten either. It's okay. First grade, Miss Peterson and Miss Stevens. Uh, second grade, Miss Bryan, Miss Chandler, Miss Coyle, Miss Holder. Third grade, Miss Chirillo, Miss Skelly. Fourth grade, Miss Ballard, Ham, Fister, and McCoy. Fifth grade, Miss Allen, Miss Hester, and Miss Sorrels. And Miss Haney had perfect attendance as well today. Way to go, guys. All right, so it's Friday. Um, we're going to tell you what our book is for Monday. Our Monday book is there was, I know an old lady who swallowed a dreidel. It's awesome. Did she, she swallowed a dreidel. She thought it was a bagel. It could, oh. it could be fatal. It could be. It could be. Last day of Hanukkah is Monday, so that's why we're going to have that book. So we have that coming up. Um, now it's time to do our uh, PBS Stars of the Week. And hey, right. also we're going to follow that up with our Good News Call of the Day. Okay, Friday is the day we recognize our PBIS stars. And we recognize them for being ready, which means being in the right place yeah. at the right time. With the right stuff. Very good. We recognize them for being respectful, which means treating others the way they want to be treated. And we recognize them for being responsible, which means doing the order with a smile on your face and giving perfect, perfect effort. effort. All right, so our ready, yes, our ready star of the week comes from Miss Peterson's class, and this is what Miss Peterson says about Shanique Maldonado Pichardo. Uh, she always makes sure she is listening and has her stuff ready for every activity. She keeps her eyes on the speaker and is sure to get her work started when asked. I am so proud of Shanique. For being our Ready Star of the Week, you get two Dragon Dollars. You'll get your picture outside the cafeteria. You'll get your name on the marquee, and you get the blue Ready Band. You're welcome, and you're very respectful, too. Leading into our respectful uh, person of the week comes from Miss Simpson's class, and this is what Miss Simpson says about Savea Johnson. She's respectful. She is the first one to follow directions and wait on her directions for the next thing all the time. So being our respectful star of the week, Savea, uh, you're going to get two dragon dollars. You're going to get your picture outside the cafeteria. You're going to get your name on the marquee, and you get the white respectful name. You're welcome. And our responsible star of the week comes from Miss Trillo's class, and this is what Miss Trillo says about Ari Vickers. Ari has really shown a lot of responsibility. She is working so hard to stay on top of her work and do her very best. She's worked through all. She works through all bus call to finish her unfinished work, and she got caught up on her APTT homework and has already turned in homework for those week coming up. The amount of determination she's showing is really, really impressive. I'm very proud of Ari. So being our responsible star of the week, Ari, you get two Dragon Dollars. You'll get your picture outside the cafeteria. You get your name on the marquee, and you get the gray responsible. All right, so here are our PBIS stars of the week. Ready, respectful, and responsible. Our good news call of the day comes from Ms. Barrera's kindergarten class, and it's Malaya Davis. Malaya consistently is respectful in the hallway. She always stays quiet while others are learning in the classroom, and she's a good role model for others in her line. Great job, Malaya, for being our good news call of the day. All right, so that's all our announcements. Yeah, good week. Good week, and we got stuff coming. Don't forget, parents, all six of you that are watching, APTT, Monday, Monday Tuesday, Tuesday, Thursday. Thursday. Monday's K1, Tuesday's two, uh, Tuesday is 2, 3, 4, 5 is on Thursday. Please be there. We start at 6. That means get here before 6. Don't show up in the classroom. Yeah. And there Don't is, show up at the door. and then traffic. Get in, yeah, there's so, lots of traffic. Traffic. So plan on getting here about 5.30 so that you can get your spot and yeah. roll in yeah. um, and get there by 6. Because we yeah. do want you to sign in exactly. and, you know, ship your kids off. And it's very difficult games. for the teachers to catch you up if you come in yeah. late. So please make sure you're there. I know it's, it's a hard time, but plan for yeah. it and then so get it done tonight oh yes tonight, thank you the santa experience santa experience from six to eight here's kennedy elementary here saying i think it's five dollars uh but then you can take your own pictures they got crafts and yep. everything you can do i think the crafts so. might cost there might be a cost to some of the crafts mm -hmm. uh, but it's five dollars to get in lots mm -hmm. of stuff to do for the kiddos yeah and take a picture with santa Can't don't think that. it's gonna snow hopefully no Hopefully not. But it'll be fun. Yep. Fun time. All right. So that's all we got. You guys uh, have a great weekend. Thank you for helping us keep you safe by being a ready, respectful, and responsible leader who's focused on graduating in the year. Because when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible leader focused on graduation, you are boldly, boldly committed to success. Bus riders, please make sure that you come when your bus is called. Guys, please have your jackets on. It is cold. Mm. Okay. You guys have a great weekend. Bye -bye. Love you.